Hey everybody, I'm Jerry from Gym Lux, and today we're going to talk a little bit about rod holders. Uh, our assortment of rod holders has grown over the past few years and we've uh, gotten a lot of questions on differences, applications, things like that, so I'm going to go over that with you guys today. Uh, first off, our entry level rod holder is what we have right here. This is our basic Coastal Series rod holder. Um, this is pretty much what you see on most of the boats out in the market. Uh, when you're out in the water at the dock, you'll see these rod holders all over the place. Um, it's the simple, you know, three screw installation. These things are everywhere. Um, it's got a nice black liner. We don't do the white. That's kind of specific to Jim, just because the white ends up getting all nasty and mildewy. Uh, so that's our entry level. That's good for inshore fishing, light tackle fishing, you know, interior fishing in lakes, rivers, all that kind of stuff. This will handle pretty much all those applications. Um, this right here is the next level. This is going to be our deluxe. At a glance, they look exactly the same, but they are in fact different. So the big difference in these is underneath here, this is our Coastal Series, and there's three spot welds where the tube meets the flange. The difference with that, as opposed to the Deluxe, is the Deluxe is fully welded, so it's a much stronger rod holder. Uh, the Deluxe also has a cast pin inside of here where the Coastal has a riveted pin. You can see the difference right there. Um, they both have the drain tube that can be taken off, so if you want to plumb your rod holders, you can. If you don't want it and want it to just drain onto the gunnel, that's fine too. These can also be uh, used in conjunction with this backing plate right here for even, to make it even stronger. Um, you know, all it does is slips over the bottom, lines up with your fastener holes, and you're good to go. This, this Deluxe right here, I would use more so in uh, a lot of boats uh, that want to use the blue water, we'll get to that next, but this is a really nice rod holder. A lot of boats want to use these, but they don't have access under the gunnel, so they end up having to go with this. This being a strong rod holder, it's still very good. You can use this with this backing plate and still high speed troll, use heavy tackle, go offshore fishing for pretty much whatever you want to, you know, try and catch. Going back to our backing plates, uh, these do not have to be used with either of these rod holders if you don't want to, it's just an option. Um, all this is going to do is basically give you more strength on your gunnel. Uh, it's usually going to be implemented where you want to you know, use heavier tackle, offshore, big game fish, and stuff like that. Um, otherwise, all you have to do is just put in your three, screw three screws, uh, fender washers, and you're good to go. All right, the next rod holders we're going to talk about is our blue water rod holders. Uh, these are by far our most popular rod holders. Everybody is using these, uh, especially the big, you know, the upper tier boat builders. They look great. There's no uh, fasteners to see on your gunnel. They just, they look awesome. Um, we have this size, which is our standard. And that's what most people use. It's great for uh, pretty much any kind of fishing you want to do. Big game, inshore, any of that stuff. And the rod holders just look great. Um, you can see right here, it's the screwless installation. Basically, there's a big, spacer, a gasket, a nut on the bottom side. Um, you pretty much install it just like a through hole. Let me show you all real quick exactly what I'm talking about. So basically you cut your hole, put your rod holder in there. We have a gasket that we supply with it. That's optional. Some people like to use the gasket. Some people use a, a sealant. I'm more of a fan of some sealant like some silicone or some 4200, but you can use the gasket if you want to. Um, so the gasket would go on next. Next is going to be a spacer. There's a spacer that comes with every one of them. That goes on the underside of your gunnel. So that would go under there. You screw this on here. That all comes together on your gunnel and sandwiches it so it's nice and tight. The best thing to do when you're doing that is use one of our installation sockets. These are, you know, specific for our uh, rod holders. It just slides under the bottom side here locks in, and it's just a, basically a big giant deep well socket. Works really good. So that's our standard size. We've also recently come out with our Blue Water Rod Holder Cup Holder. This is, uh, it's gaining a lot of popularity. You know, everybody wants to be able to put their cold beer down or something somewhere when they're uh, trying to catch a fish or grabbing a rod. Just gives you, a, gives you that option. Very nice looking rod holder. Um, comes in all the different available uh, degrees, 15, 30, zero, just like all these do. Um, this does come with a white gasket on the underside. Once again, you can use that if you want to, or you can uh, use some sort of sealant of your choice. Like I said, I do prefer the sealant. 
Um, these do not have a backing plate, unfortunately, this time. Maybe in the future we'll make one, but right now we do not offer a backing plate for this rod holder. If you decide you want to upgrade to a rod holder cup holder, um, they do require a larger installation hole than our standard blue water or our regular rod holder here. Um, I'll kind of go back into that for just a second. These regular rod holders, the Coastal and Deluxe, require a two inch uh, hole saw. Our standard blue water requires a two and one eighth inch. This does require a three and three eighths inch hole. So it's a much larger hole um, that you'll have to drill. But, you know, most boats have enough gunnel to accommodate that. Um, another thing with these uh, blue water rod holders here is they do have the ability to be plumbed as well. You can take one of these, uh, these nipples right here, they screw right into the bottom, and then you can plumb your rod holders. You can do that with any of these right here. Next I want to talk about our heavy duty series of blue water rod holders. These are uh, just really beefed up blue water rod holders is all they are. They're much larger in every aspect. They come in, uh, same thing as all the other ones, 30, 15, and zero degree. Um, this is our zero degree swivel base right here. Um, they are available and fixed as well in every degree. These are just, uh, these are for your daytime sword fishing, uh, bluefin tuna fishing, all that kind of stuff. These are super heavy duty. Um, these are mostly used, mm, a lot of times on center consoles, they'll put a couple of these to use for daytime sword fishing about midship. Um, what we're finding is a lot of sport fishing boats that are uh, refitting the boats are putting these on there. Um, they look really good on the big sport fishers. Um, another thing that we offer with this is a backing plate as well. That'll slide right on just like the one we talked about earlier. It actually goes under the gunnel, between the spacer and the underside of the gunnel. This is one uh, for the smaller size standard blue water rod holder. Works just the same. Another thing, uh, if you do have, decide you want to put this on one of those sport fishing boats, is a lot of times those boats have much thicker gunnels. They've got teak covering boards and all that kind of stuff. To accommodate that thickness, we've actually come out with what we call our extended nut kit. So basically what that consists of is you've got a couple different spacers that'll go on there. You've got this, basically it's this nut with a long sleeve that's threaded. What that allows for is when you slide it on the underside of here, it grabs, it grabs the threads much further down. So now you can see you can accommodate a much larger gunnel thickness. So that's been pretty success, successful as well. We also have the installation socket for the heavy duty ones. It's just a giant one, just like that one. Slides over the bottom, install, uninstall, whatever you need to do. Another little tidbit uh, to throw in there about these uh, blue water rod holders is when you're uh, installing them, when you get ready to cinch everything down tight, when you're installing these and you want to cinch them down tight, it's a great idea to put a little dab of 5200 on the threads here. You get out in rough seas over years and years, banging the boat around, and over time that this nut right here will want to loosen on you. But if you put that dab of 5200 on there, It'll keep that from ever happening and you won't lose the nut and have your rod holders moving around and everything. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Uh, we hope we answered all your questions. If there's any other questions you have pertaining to our rod holders or any of the accessories or anything, feel free to give us a call here at Jim. You can always uh, email us too at sales at We're pretty easy to get a hold of. Thanks for watching.